dip. Most of my life I've had white friends. i never forget the first serious black experience I had. I grew up around a lot of black people, but I had most of white friends. And I know why. I know exactly why now. Um, so, one of the, the, the saddest black experiences I had was when I first moved to Richmond, California. I'd moved from a town that was pretty much diverse, a lot of blacks and whites, but there's a lot of rich whites around us, or, or middle class whites, and then, you know, whatever. We lived in like a pocket in the projects. There was few poor white people too, you know, so there was whites and blacks all in the same fucking pot. There was all kind of drama too as a kid, I'll get into that in later videos for my um, webpage. So, um, let me get to it. So, I just moved to Richmond, and I started going to high school, and I'll never forget, being around all these young black kids, just, instead of seeing sprinkles of white or white in there, there was, like, no sprinkles. <laughs> you see one, he was scared, wouldn't talk to nobody. Now I know why. So, um... I'm going home on the school bus. Some girl was talking about me. And this has happened to me more than once. This is some little black girl that's going to bump her gut. What the fuck is Dr. Phil doing on the background? That's why y'all think I was going crazy, change my direction, because old Dr. Phil back there. But nah. Not about Dr. Phil. Yeah, you can it's better. Let me see. Put the view on. You don't want the view in the background. Something people can relate to. Something ghetto enough for the people to relate to. I'll put Maury on in the background. So, um, I'm going on my way home on the school bus, and these girls is like talking shit about me. I ain't never met them in damn my life. But when we used to do the dozen, I was good. So, what I did was, um, I took these old pair of black glasses I had because I was waiting for the time to be funny because I was always the funny guy. And right in front of everybody, I popped the lenses out and I put the black frames on. And I started preaching like a minister. Roasted these girls. We'll see you tomorrow. My brother's gonna stab you. Shit. Scared to fucking death now. Next day, go to school. All bad. It was like that one movie, uh, 301. Or, you know, I didn't want to get out of school. All these brothers, like, some made brothers come to beat me up because I clown these girls. So my grandma was like, you know, I'm not paying for no cab to come get you. I damn near had to run home fucking high school. How you think that make a motherfucker feel mentally? First time around a bunch of black people, someone else out the blue want to talk about the new guy they don't know, and the next thing you know, he got to get beat up and stabbed defending himself. It's another reason why some brothers don't want to fuck with sisters, because they get some shit started sometimes for no fucking reason at all. Oh yeah. I went there. So, you know, as time goes by, you see the ignorance in a people. And you see a cowardice in a people. Then there's pockets of respect without these people, within these people, I'm sorry, throughout these people. And these pockets of respect is where you used to get your knowledge. You no know, pockets of respect no more in the hood. I bet you right now in any given hood, any hood. Somebody can stroll through there and buy people. Literally buy people. Understand what I'm going to tell you next, this next little story. This is a true story. Like all my stories are true. I'm not like some people who are going to get on here and make up some stuff because all this is true. Little boy. I'm not going to say what a relation she is to me, he is to me. And 
his friends. These kids all grew up in the same neighborhood. Since I've been in this town, all these kids grew up. Been here over 20 years now. So, these kids are, are in a pack. All these little black kids. Now, where I'm at now, is a lot of rich folks around here, too. Of course, here is more diverse. You have white kids and black kids interact. So, white kid tells these black kids, let's go steal some weed. Here's a car. Here's that dress. Go for it. Four brothers grew up all together. There was like five of them. Grew up all in the same neighborhood. Hop in the car. Ride down there. Try to rob these white guys. They get shot at. Bad. They get away. They get away with the weed. High speed chase. White guys drive off. Fuck it. Wasn't worth their time to pursue these motherfuckers. Now the police come out of nowhere. Car riddled full of bullet holes. Brothers just parked the car, jumped out, and ran. One of the brothers grabbed the weed, got rid of the little guns, bam. Three, four days later, he catch up with the other brothers, split everything up. The white dude is upset now. Because that same brother that got away and got everybody to shit also was pulled over by the police. His shit was found in the car. It wasn't his car. He told the police, who loaned him the car? You don't know why those guys were shooting. But he left his friend's car there, told whose car it was. The white guy mad because the brother allegedly snitched on him tells the other four brothers I'll give y'all eight hundred dollars kill that nigga and the four brothers tried now eight hundred dollars divided by four to kill your friend where's the logic in that What I'm trying to say in this video is that brothers and sisters can't be united because the weak ones always turn. They turn like a dog. A fucking dog that has been loyal to you forever will bite your ass. Brothers and sisters turn now. No fucking unity. They're always busy about what I got, what somebody's doing to me. What I don't have, what I can't do. I know what I can't do anymore. And it's a crutch. It's a crutch to be, to know your limitations. It's a crutch. It fucks you up. I know what I can't do. But I also know why I think the way I think now. I know why <laughs> I don't turn my nose on nobody. I don't turn my back on nobody. I know why. But I can't understand why people do what they do people are straight shitty now. It's not just, just like in this video I've been talking about black folks. My, what I see, people don't like when you talk the truth. Some of you brothers and sisters turn and all of you do it. And for you to say, oh, he's just tripping. No, you look inside yourself. Tell me how many times you left somebody fucking hanging. Or you look inside yourself and you tell me how many times somebody left you hanging. And you tell me brothers and sisters don't turn for nothing. For nothing. Save the skin on their own neck. Remember one time a lady was walking across the street with her kids when I was working at Berkeley. I jumped in front of the car. I was finna take her kids out. Boom, put my hand on the hood. The lady turned around and looked at me and rolled her fucking eyes. That lady was Mexican. People are fucked up. There's no unity or love or respect. We've been tubed. 